Oh man, no one told me what games are coming out November 12th through the 18th. So I guess we'll go look. Here, here they are. We're on Steam. Let's take a look and see what's coming out. Um, first of all, so games that we've looked at before, Aether and Trapmaster have both been pushed back to this week. So you'll find those coming out this week, unless they get pushed back some more. But uh, the first one I wanted to take a look at, and there's quite a few that we're going to look at today, but uh, the first one is going to be Micro Civilization. And one thing interesting about this week as opposed to others is um, a lot, a lot of AAA type games. Look at this. It's it's kind of like a cozy little pixel um, civilization sim. I like this. This is pretty this is pretty cool. I love the art style for sure. The only thing that I'm I'm not sure about is like um gameplay wise. It doesn't feel like it's offering too much. I I guess really it's all about just kind of Balancing and strategy from what I can see so far. So let's see. Yeah, what else do we got to offer? Okay. So it looks like you can kind of customize things a little bit as you you level up. Okay. Oh, and you can sort of change what kind of culture you're developing. That's interesting. So, like, rather than going, like, Roman Empire, you could go... Oh, oh! And <laughs> you can get, like, annihilated and stuff from... Um... Different, um... Um... I have lost my complete freaking mind trying to think. Um, disasters look like war can happen. It very much looked like... Cold War. Will you rise by sin or fall by virtue? Okay, micro civilization. It's interesting. It's interesting. Um, I don't know that it showed me enough for me to want to wish list it right now. I think this is something that I'm going to need to see somebody play it or see if there's a demo. Okay, there is a demo. I'm going to need to try this demo. Before I say yay or nay. But I do I do enjoy the style of it a lot. And look how ridiculous this is. You got like Taj Mahal right there. You got like Eiffel Tower, Statue of Liberty. And you got mammoths coming through while all hell is raining down. So that's kind of interesting. Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where's the next one that we're going to go to? Um, I think we were going to pop down a little bit. Uh, Dream Night was the next one I wanted to take a look at here that caught my attention. So this, from what I understand, is like a roguelike side-scroller beat-em-up, but you can choose from four different characters who have a completely different fighting style. I believe is the appeal of the game. And I do love the art on this, for sure. Yeah, I like that. So, um, so this looks good. Ooh, okay, I like the whip character. That's pretty cool. That's, uh, that's a little different. Very neat. So what else... Uh, I want to see what else it has. Um, aside from the the beat em up, what else does it have to it? To make me want to go back and do another run. 
Oh, here we go. So, like, skill trees, it looks like. Okay. So it looks like some of it has been translated, some of it hasn't in this demo. So I'm wondering if uh, we'll have a full translation by the time it comes out. I'm not sure. Well, it's got a nice inventory system, too. I like that. Hey, the, there, there's some pretty cool, like, boss designs and stuff as well. Um... I definitely appreciate the the art style and everything of this. So, uh, okay, so that's Dream Night, and uh, we're looking at November thirteenth. There is a demo available as well. Very cool. Uh, next, this is one that I I have downloaded the demo. I have not played it yet, and I'm trying to remember if we have looked at this one before and if it got pushed back. But I I honestly don't remember because I'm like, why did I download the demo? I don't know. Broken Roads. So it's a tactical RPG. They say. Well, that was the. A thousand choices okay. lead us to win. I was gonna say, was that it? That changing one tiny detail makes no difference. But a thousand tiny details. Yeah. That might make you someone else. Someone worth I wonder if this does this take place in Australia? Oh, it does. Or someone who doesn't fight at all. They also say it's the journey, setting. not the destination, and that I can not agree the destination. With. Being dead's hard to fix. That's a good quote. But everything before Being that, dead's hard to fix. That's I pretty good. It's down to courage. Good luck and the sheer bloody mindedness to keep putting one foot in front okay. of the other. Okay. Down these broken roads. This is pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Bite Drop Bear Bites. I love the idea that they named their company Drop Bear after the whole meme that Australia specifically came up with to scare tourists. That's hilarious. Yeah, I, rem I, I remember why I downloaded this now because I, I just happened to see images of this and was just like yeah this looks pretty good um so yeah tactical rpg in a post-apocalyptic world so you get like a little bit of kind of like mad max ish to it which is pretty cool i love the idea of it it looks pretty good like it, it's designed pretty nicely um, it seems like it might have a pretty decent story to it, too. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's cool. So you have like a morality wheel here, and it looks like you can have specific traits and maybe skills that align with how your choices uh, have been. So that that that's pretty cool. I really like that. Yeah, this is definitely going on the wish list. Even with before I've played the demo, it's going on the wish list. I'm I'm very interested in this one. Um definitely recommended for folks that like uh Divinity Original Sin. I would hazard a guess if you like Baldur's Gate 3. Probably something you might want to check out. Um now that you've probably gone through Two, maybe three playthroughs of Baldur's Gate 3. You need to move on, guys. You got to do something different. I haven't yet. But anyway, this will be a good one. November 13th. All right. Um, Where are we going next? Um, Aether got moved to the 14th as well. Uh, here we go. Let's take a look at a, um, a larger IP here. That, this surprised me, but I, I think I did hear something about this. No, you know what? I think I, I heard there was going to be, a an offshoot TV series about Adam Eve. So... Yeah, I didn't know that they were going to do a game. 
not huge into visual novels, really, but this looks good. And they found a way to put some, some actual action and fighting into it. All right, it's pretty cool. It looks pretty good. I'm interested in it. I'm interested. Um, I think what's really gonna, what it's gonna come down to is the price for me on this one. Um, which it doesn't, you know, it doesn't say what's gonna be. We're gonna wish list it and we'll just see. I really enjoy uh, Invincible. I really enjoy that world. Um, I read through all of the comics years ago. Um, and I, and I did enjoy the, um, the show, which, um, this looks like it, it's, it's very much based on like the, um, the show's design and everything's, uh, so. Yeah. Anyway, pretty cool. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's see, what's our next one? Um, Ticket to Ride, I was going to look at, but it doesn't have anything to show us. There's literally only two photos. That's it. But uh, Ticket to Ride, they've got, I guess, a virtual version coming on the 14th. So there we are. Um, Let's keep scrolling down and see what we can see. Death must die. Here we go. This must be a roguelike because I saw that our buddy Joseph has it on his wish list already. That inventory screen looked so much like the original Diablo. Maybe Diablo 2. But it, it felt a lot like that. Okay, this is looking pretty interesting. Wow, okay. This feels like Vampire Survivors meets Diablo. Like, I'm talking like original Diablo, like Diablo 1. This is pretty cool. This looks chaotic as all hell, though. Like, it definitely looks like it's going to be a difficult game. But it looks really fun. Wow, okay. The, and there's so many different, like, abilities and stuff. Alright. You know what? I'm very interested in this one. As someone who's a, a huge fan of Vampire Survivors, and then also a huge fan of, like, older Diablo, yeah, this is... Like, exactly like old Diablo. I mean, like, the exact same layout here. But as someone that's a fan of both of those things, mix them together sounds like a great idea. There is a demo, so I might add it to my wish list, and we will also check out the demo sometime. Death must die. Poor death. Um, Let's see. Was this another one? No, this was not one of the other ones we were going to check out. Um, here we go. I won't even pretend like I know how to pronounce this, so I'm just going to call it Dungeon Master. I can't pronounce that. I wouldn't be able to just save my life. We got Hey Hey. Okay. I like the little goblin, Uncle Sam. That's pretty good. Well, that didn't really tell me much, did it? Adventuring in dungeons? Any Here we go. Can do that. But yeah, any idiot can do that. Now we're talking elite. The dungeon of Nalbrek okay. is feared throughout the lands of Fang. It is an avant-garde evil structure. Nalbrek? Now and disruptive innovation. And it's looking for its new steward. Of course, we have the most trained and prepared guards. The most okay, efficient okay. staff. The most devious monsters and the most attractive treasures. Hey, wait, we're on camera? Uh, uh, but wait, there's more. 
We have state-of-the-art production facilities. Kind of a fun little cartoony vibe. I know that there's other games under this um, franchise. I've never played them, but... Okay. Okay. So there's definitely like some humor to it. Oh. So they'll want to come here to get slaughtered and okay. humiliated. To achieve that, you'll have access to guards, traps, and hexes. Oh, that's also cool. To organize raids on nearby areas to provide me with treasures and relics. Thanks to All you, right, I'm devotion, liking this. I, Zangdar, will become the greatest warlock of the lands of Fang. <laughs> Looking for a job that gives meaning to your life and makes the world this seems a pretty fun. Place, buzz off. Um, but if you're organized, servile, sneaky, and enjoy a positive work atmosphere, come take your chance. I'll be waiting for you in my office. I really dig the concept, and I especially dig the the level of humor here. So it seems like um, it's it's a dungeon builder and like um, you know colony sim style thing with a fantasy you know spin with lots of humor which is pretty cool and then um like a lot of these style things have you can send um your folks out to gather resources and come back but i love the twist that along with that stuff you're also um you know, like setting traps for adventurers when they come and inevitably raid the dungeon. So, um, I mean, it's very similar to other games um, of this kind of style, but as far as the look of everything, incredibly different and, and definitely stands out. So I think that's pretty neat. Um, I do wish there was a demo for me to check out. Um... I have a feeling that this is going to be an expensive one. Um but I'm going to wish list it and we'll see what happens when it when it comes out. We'll just see. Um I do have just a feeling though that that's going to be a pricey one. Here's another uh, demo that I did download Jesus. and haven't Angela? tried yet. Angela, are you there? What is Angela? This? this, Trevor, is your life. A life that has been recorded and compiled right down to the last second. We'll get you out of here, I promise. Shit, shit, shit! Keep running, Trevor! Now, I haven't been a huge fan of this art style specifically what intrigued me about this one is helping him one of is the story here oh no 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 yes 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 i got it and it just seems kind of a a cool the gameplay seems pretty interesting Live from the Arcadia Dome, I'm your host. It seems like there's a lot of different styles. American so there's some story Arcadia. stuff. It looks like there's some first person. Um, they say story stuff. Oh my god! I was gonna say puzzle solving stuff, first person stuff, maybe some platforming in addition. An Let's just and works at the top of the INAC Tower. Be with that. I'm just going to kind of fast forward through this one a little bit. Some maybe a little bit of stealth. Cuz Arcadia it's So Yeah, it just seems like there's quite a mix of different things that you can do in this one, which is really what I thought was interesting. So um yeah, I do have that demo and it, it's already on the wish list, so um yeah, I think I think this could be this could be interesting. For sure. Um okay. Let's check out Let's check this one out. Wizardum. Wizardum. I haven't really seen this one yet. 
eons have passed since the forces of evil plagued Terravuma. I am in love with this man's voice already. The chaos was sealed within the cosmic prison. But something, no, something. I just want to listen to this man talk. The balance talk to me in my dreams. Seal. Now you, one of the last survivors of Wizardom, must draw upon all you Wizardom and drive back the chaos once and for all. The time has come. Rise up. Okay. Meet your destiny. I really do want to see gameplay now. There we go. Yeah, okay. This is kind of cool. I really like this style. Okay, so FPS. But a pixel FPS. Like 2.5D. In a way. No, I guess, I mean... That doesn't really capture it. It is just first person, but like the 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 way they do the pixel art is just like some of it is almost like that 2.5D effect with like some of the stationary objects. It's hard to quantify, but I love it. Now is the is the game actually good? I could not tell you based on this. Like, but it looks like it could be Welcome fun. To Wizardom. Looks cool as shit. <laughs> I'm gonna wish list that. That is a demo I need to try out. Dang. Okay. The 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 problem I have with it is I don't know. Um, if it would get old really quick. Though it does look like you might be able to change your weapon style. I'm wondering if there's different classes that you could do. Not sure. Um. Okay. Uh, wide arsenal of spells and magic items. Battle your way. Um, I mean, you could use... Weapons or magic, so in that respect, you could kind of do different classes. It looks like he's got like an ice weapon there. That's just a straight up gun. This is like some sort of magic orb. Uh, there was fire. So it seems like there's quite a bit. Um, well, building a custom level. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I think that's pretty neat. I think that's a, a pretty unique idea, and I, I do like that. Um, this was one I, I just briefly saw and just, I saw the concept and I, I really wanted to check this out. It's not as polished as some of the other games that we've looked at, but the idea of this, I think is super cool. So you're playing against someone. And you're playing chess, but whenever you go to <laughs> to take somebody's piece, you gotta fight. You gotta actually like fight them, which is ridiculous. I just don't know. I don't know how well it'll work, but I love the idea of blending two completely different genres. Um, this almost reminds me of Star Wars, uh, when Chewbacca is, uh, um, playing against, um, I guess it was Luke, I can't remember, and C-3PO's like, let the Wookiee win. And I do like the different, um, designs for each piece and it's looking like they might have different abilities and stuff as well that's pretty cool that is really cool actually so I'll, I'm gonna add that as well we'll see how much that ends up being but 
I'm very intrigued. I really wish there was a demo for it, though. Um, what a cool idea. Um, okay. I think we are close to the end. Um, in fact, uh, let's see. Where are we at here? Do, 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 do. Here we go. Uh, yeah, we've only got three more, and all three of these are big titles. Because apparently this is the week for AAA stuff on Steam. So we got Naruto, Naruto Boruto. I can't speak for anything today. Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections. I'm going to blame being a dad. It makes you so tired. Who would have thought? Who would have thought having a kid would make you so sleepy? Ooh. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal something about myself real quick. I've never watched or read any Naruto. Even though I know it's one of the most popular manga ever. Um, it's just, there's so much of it that I haven't done it. It's the same reason why I haven't read any One Piece. Because there's so much. But I'm getting close to, to a point where I'm going to do one or the other pretty soon. So. I've done, like, all of Demon Slayer. Um... All kinds of other stuff. I finished Fire Force. Um, that was a good one. I'm just listing manga right now. <laughs> we'll just watch this. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, it looks like a cool game. I feel like it would mean more to me if I knew all the different characters. I just know that Naruto, Naruto and um, Boruto is supposed to be his son, I believe. That's about all I know. Um, my my uh, vocal coach voiced a character in this, um, in the anime, and I don't remember which character he voiced. Um, but if y'all know Crispin Freeman, that would be him. He's been in a lot of stuff, though. So it's like, if you name an anime, he'll probably be in it somewhere. So. Uh, okay. Let's go to Persona 5 Tactica. This is another, uh, another Welcome series that I'm Tactica, a horribly unfamiliar with. You'll take command of a squad of sleek and stylish Wait. characters known as... They're like chibi! The of Why are they chibi now? Of called Legionnaires. Like, I know that much that they don't usually look that way. So now let's meet the but they look the adorable! First up is the hothead with a heart of gold, Ryuji. Matching his big and bold personality. Okay, you're Ryuji just showing me the different characters. To keep enemies off balance. Um, no I want to know. Dependable or reliable. Let's check out this one. Oh, Persona is it another Tactica, character trailer? A combat adventure game where you'll lead a squad of characters Come on. called the Phantom Thieves of Hearts against a military group named Legionnaires. You'll get to Okay, that's explaining a little bit better a for me. Of beloved heroes. Each character has All right. a unique and wide array of abilities, talents, and personas that they bring okay. to fight against oppressive forces. And who better to lead the charge than the leader of the Phantom Oh no, it is it is I know he's in Smash Brothers. Oh boy. I don't want to do just character trailers, man. I want to... I mean, I guess it is kind of showing me a little bit of, um, you know, the gameplay and stuff as it focuses on each character, but... Persona 5 Tactica also lets you customize very So it's a, a tactical uh, RPG your chances of success on the battlefield with lots of characters. 
Until next time. And each one has their own um, abilities and stuff. So, um, I mean, yeah, it looks cool. Again, I think this was something I'd be more excited about should I know more about the Persona universe. I love the designs, though. I, like, I, I guarantee, though, that there's going to be some folks that are super pissed that they made them, like, all cute and chibi-looking. I guarantee there's going to be people that are like, oh, they ruined it! They ruined my childhood! Or some dumb garbage. But whatever. Art is art, man, and it looks good. And now to our main story. Oh, okay. Maybe this will help set the stage a little bit better for me so I understand What's a little happening? more. Okay, I love the cat. I love the cat already. I have no idea what the story of this universe or anything is, so I, I need something to help me out. Okay. All right. So you're telling me you're thieves who steal hearts, and you just happen to stumble into this world? The Rebel Corps will always help. This is what I. Th they should have put this video at the beginning. Okay. It kind of looks like you can do like combos and stuff with each other, which looks pretty cool. Yeah, that was cool. This art is amazing, though, for real. I hope they do these like anime like cutscenes in between two because I'm loving that. Okay, Persona 5 Tantica PST. Uh that's November 16th from Sega. Sega. We got one more friends and then we're calling it a video. Bluey. Let's uh let's hop into Bluey. Everyone's favorite dog. Sorry, Snoopy, your old news. You Get out of here. This looks beautiful. This just looks like the cartoon, like dead on. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is adorable. Wow. I mean, again, I don't know almost anything about this. But, like, I can't deny how good this looks. It's so smooth. It's animated really well. The voice acting was great. Like, if I didn't know better, like, this right here, if I didn't know better, I'd think I was looking at a screenshot from the from the cartoon series, not from a video game. So, uh, job really well done with this. This is crazy good. Requires controller. Jeez. All right, so uh, Bluey. That's going to be on the 17th. Okay, very, very good. All right, uh, so that is all of the um, at least interesting to me looking games coming out um, the 12th through November 18th. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, what What games are you looking forward to? Put it in the comments, and I'll stop yelling. Um, and uh, I hope you have a good week. A great week, actually. Screw good. Have a great week, all right? I'll see you on the next video. Love you. Bye-bye.